TNS, penalty right in the dying seconds of the yeah. first half. Great way to go into the break. Unfortunately, didn't work out that way in the second period. No, it didn't. I think, you know, it, you know, don't get me wrong, it's a tough place to come here. They're very physical and you know the, the pitch didn't suit our style of passing, but that's no excuse because the, the two goals they scored was nothing to do with the pitch. It was just a one-on-one a, a -on -one or an aerial battle or whatever it was. The ball was in the air, so it wasn't on the ground. So, but... You know, we just need to deal with the, the, the set players a little bit better, a little bit better, because we knew they're going to be good from it. We knew they've got big lads and knew they've got good delivery, but you know, we've just got to deal with it a little bit better as a group. And Gab Connors Key went down to ten men. Yeah. TNS do everything, including the kitchen sink, yeah. then, but just couldn't get that equaliser. Yeah, now we couldn't. And, and like I said, without making excuses, I want to sound a bit, a bit a far from it. Normally, when we can get the ball down and play, we make advantage of having eleven v eleven, then main ten v eleven. So it was just we couldn't build that momentum up to to keep a sustained pressure without without being as direct as what we could because the, the surface wasn't suitable so it was one of them Connors Key dealt with it really well you know hands up the, the, at the end they have won the game you know so I'm not being bit I'm just saying how we how we thought the, the game went and it was tough you know we didn't like I said uh, apart from their two goals I can't remember Paul Harrison having a save to make you know they, like I said they were, they were dangerous from set players but we knew that good delivery some big boys there and we just got to deal with it a little bit better however we do that and every cloud has a silver lining. Yeah. Bala conceded in the 90th minute, yeah. so they were pegged back after being 2-0 up yeah. at Newtown. Four games to go, TNS 58 board points on the board, yeah. Bala 50, so it's still looking good at the moment. Yeah, without a doubt. Um, correct me if I'm wrong here, because I'm not a mathematician, but if we win on Saturday, I imagine is that, is that it? I think it is, isn't it? Because there will be three games left then, wouldn't have to say. So it's in our own hands. It's still early on. We we beat Newtown on Saturday, and then we've won the league. So we've we've done it at home. The last four years I've been here, and the players are disappointed today. Very disappointed because we don't like getting beat, and I don't like getting beat. But we just got to accept it, and we're back at home on. Saturday, when it's up to us now to go and impose our style of football on the game. And of course, a disappointed dressing room this evening. Yeah, well, but out. time to put that right and get back to winning ways. Yeah, it's it's easy to start pointing fingers and easy to to have a go. At people, you know, and, and people do have to be, including myself, accountable for 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 mistakes being made. But the the best thing to do with it is, you know, in the heat of the moment, you know, go away from that. We'll go and have a look at the DVD and how do we deal with them set plays better. That's you know you can go screaming your head off in the change room after the game and pointing fingers and and going crazy. You know I've done that in my time in my younger days. You know but I've matured a little bit and I think the best thing to do is look at it and come up with a solution instead of just shouting at people. Craig, thank you for your time this evening. No problem. Thank you.